ईयर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन माई वेट हैड गॉन शॉर्ट अप टू नाइन्टी टू के जी बैक एक होती रहती थी फ्रीकुंट बैक एक्स आई यूज टू हैव ट्वेल्व मंथ कफ एंड कोल्ड लॉस ऑफ बाउट्स ऑफ एसिडिटी नो मैटर वॉट आई एट इवन इफ इट इज हेल्दी आई वुड स्टिल गेट एसिडिटी एंड दैट इज द टाइम आई टर्न टूवर्ड्स योगा हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एजुकेशन नेस्ट एंड माई नेम इज अहमद जाहिद यूर होस्ट एंड आई एम थ्रिल टू बी हियर विद यू ऑल वंस अगेन वर्क टेक्स अप अ लॉट ऑफ चंक्स ऑफ आवर लाइफ एंड इफ यू आर नॉट फीलिंग आवर बेस्ट सो इट कैन रियली इम्पैक्ट आवर ओवरऑल वेल बींग सो दैट्स वेयर द वर्क प्लेस वेलनेस कम्स इन टू इफेक्ट सो वाई इज वर्क प्लेस वेलनेस इम्पॉर्टेंट इमेजिन दिस यू फील फोकस्ड एनर्जाइज एंड मोटिवेटेड एट वर्क यू हैव द रिजाइलेंस to bounce back from challenges you experience stronger relationships and a positive work environment sounds pretty good right well that's what workplace wellness can help you achieve studies shows that investing in employee wellness leads to increased productivity reduced absenteeism and even lower health care costs not only does it benefit individuals but it also creates a stronger more vibrant workplace for everyone so stay tuned in this video we will be having exploring a different ways to prioritize our well being at work we are joined by pavish raina who is a corporate trainer certified yoga instructor and wellness expert is spreading awareness through his organization raina wellness so uh, welcome pavish how are you i am fine thank you for inviting me here ahmed Okay. So, uh, Pavish, why holistic uh, holistic approach of wellness is important uh, in corporations? Uh, Ahmed, I have had about fourteen years of experience where I have worked in various companies. Uh, what I saw uh, that you know companies spend a lot of money uh, in training their employees, in bringing up their skills, so that the employees could perform better. You know, and when the employees perform better, they kind of generate more revenue for the organization, which is the ultimate aim of the organizations. However, I also noticed at the same time that it is not just the skill set that an employee possesses which will bring more productivity uh, in the workflow. what i also what i saw is that it is basically the health of an employee the overall wellness of an employee that impacts the way he performs his work that impacts his productivity and that impacts a lot of other things related to his work so unfortunately aaj ki date mein companies are not spending uh, anything on their employee wellness Although some companies, in the name of wellness programs, are doing some kind of retreats, uh, you know, uh, some medical medi claims that the companies may give to their employees, but then it is basically once you fall ill, then you will be able to have some medi claim and facilities like that. What we are focusing right now on is to bring awareness so that the organizations start helping their employees, helping their people, so that if their health is good. and with the skill that they possess they will always perform better so that is uh, how we are uh, moving forward so pavish you mentioned uh, employee well, well well being so kya cheeze aisi hain uh, ki jo effect kar rahi hai employee wellness ko uh aaj ki date mein the biggest two factors that are affecting employee wellness is number one stress at workplace and number two bad eating habits So, can you elaborate more about uh, this stress and uh, these unhealthy eating habits? Correct. So, we have to understand uh, the stress at a very basic level, right? Uh, as per the World Health Organization, uh, the definition of stress at workplace is when employees are given unrealistic uh, challenges which are not matched with their uh, knowledge and skill set. this causes stress in the employees now with ever increasing landscape of technology in the business scenario right now every new challenge every day we see new challenges being thrown at us so obviously the people will uh, the the skill set of people will always lag behind what current scenarios are happening so stress is always going to be there now to cope up with this uh, to cope up with the stress uh, employees don't have the right now to cope up with this stress employees do not have the right tools uh, to address the situation now to cope up with this stress employees don't have the right tools and tackles uh, at their disposal 
Now, bad evening habits. This is combining it uh, and taking it to a greater level. Now, imagine you being stressed at workplace. You have targets, you have deadlines to meet. You are totally focused and you feel hungry. What will you do? You will tend to eat whatever is available at that point of time. Yes. Right. And unfortunately, right now, what we have uh, available with us is all kinds of processed foods, uh, the, which you get in the cafeterias in your companies, or you probably go down, have a smoke and then come back to relieve your stress. So these two things are affecting uh, the wellness of an employee at the workplace. So not only is the employee's uh, mental health getting affected because of the stress, because of the wrong eating habits, even the physical health is getting affected and both are interconnected with each other. So this uh, physical and mental health, uh, they are interconnected. So how can you uh, like give, uh, throw some more light on this, like how they are interconnected and how it can affect the employee performance and their engagement at the workplace? Correct. Uh, you know, it's a scientifically established fact now that the stress in mild levels causes joint pains, causes headache, causes upset stomach. And if the stress continues for a persisted uh, amount of time, sorry, if, if the stress continues for a long time, it becomes chronic and it has a tendency of uh, bringing in diseases like heart ailments, blood pressure. Pavish, you mentioned uh, physical and mental health, that they are connected to each other. So how uh, can you give uh, elaborate more like uh, how this physical and mental health are interconnected and how they are affecting the performance of an employee? Sure. Uh, you know, it is a scientifically established fact now. Uh, and that whenever we are stressed, we tend to have headaches, right? Sometimes uh, when we are stressed, we tend to have joint pains. Uh, you know, people uh, with stress also have upset stomach a lot of times. When you are stressful, you feel a sensation in your sensation. So, it is your mental being projecting on your physical health. And these are mild cases of stress. Ke. When the stress becomes chronic, it has a tendency of affecting your immune system, lowering it. It has a tendency of increasing your blood pressure and the most common uh, the most common reason of heart ailments uh, these days is the stress. Now this, this stress can be at workplace, it can be at home, it can be anywhere. But considering that people spend a majority of their uh, day at work, so it is, it is not uh, bad to say, sorry. So considering that people spend almost eight to nine hours of their, life, their day at workplace. So considering that people spend almost eight to nine hours of their time in workplace every day. Uh, it's, it's not wrong to say that uh, what causes the most amount of stress is their work environment, right? And uh, we, as we saw the stress, the mental uh, thing affecting your physical uh, thing, stress and uh, your body, the physical and mental health are totally interconnected and intertwined with each other. Now, how it affects the employee morale and em employee, uh, now how it affects employee engagement at work is, you know, uh, when you are stressed, uh, you tend to focus less on your work right? Your concentration uh, is not there at its place. Now, how this stress affects the employees at work is basically that, you know, when you are stressed, your uh, productivity reduces. Uh, when you are stressed, you are not able to concentrate and focus on your work. When you are stressed, your overall engagement uh, at workplace reduces. And if you are diseased because of the stress, then you have lots of absenteeism, you have lots of uh, missed days at work, which at the end of the day affects your productivity. As stress and unhealthy eating habits are the major challenges to met at the workplace, so can you explain like how the, uh, like what situation or what are the some common factors that lead to these situations? Right. Uh, you know, as we said, uh, that stress is a major contributor. 
द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट थिंग इज यू नो लॉन्ग वर्किंग आवर्स एंड स्ट्रेसफुल जॉब एनवायरनमेंट राइट द सेकेंड सिचुएशन दैट इज हैपनिंग एट वर्क प्लेस इज यू नो पीयर प्रेशर टू इंडल्ज नो वॉट आर दट इज द पीयर प्रेशर टू इंडल्ज इट इज बेसिकली यू नो यू सींग योर पीयर्स टेकिंग अ स्मोक और इंडल्जिंग इन एल्कोहलिज्म एंड यू ऑल्सो फीलिंग द सेम बिकॉज यू आर स्ट्रेस्ड सो यू फील दैट अरे मेरा दोस्त सिगरेट पी रहा है तो चलो मैं भी एक पी के आ जाता हूँ राइट The third reason is a lot of unhealthy snacks and unhealthy foods that are readily available to you uh, around the workplace. Uh, fourth factor is uh, because of the long working hours, the sleep deprivation. People are not getting enough sleep. आज कल अगर आप देखेंगे आज कल meeting culture हो गया है especially after the covid pandemic came uh, every every corporate has meeting culture now where there are back to back meetings of employees and uh, because of these meetings employees don't get uh, sufficient amount of rest or sufficient amount of breaks in between so they would you know binge on any uh, snack or anything that would come their way just to save that additional time now all of this uh combined uh, is uh, making the situations worse at workplace you know almost 60 to 70% of executives uh, who are visiting hospitals f- with some kind with some disease or the other almost 60 to 70% of employees who visit doctors uh by, uh during their regular checkups uh, or if they are sick the real cause that the doctors identify these days is the stress the real uh, challenge that the doctors have identified these days is basically stress and it is the stress that is bringing in all these ailments in the employees and in the corporates today as stress and unhealthy uh, eating habits are the real challenges to met at the workplace so can you uh, give uh, can you throw some more light on this like Uh, what are the some common uh, factors that leads to these situations amma your question is very valid and we have to look at it in a sequential manner abhi abhi workplace mein kya ho raha hai that there are a, there are long working hours and demanding schedules tight deadlines to meet meeting culture has set in because of which you know back to back meetings are happening uh, now this all is not giving sufficient time to rest to the employees and employees are not able to even take breaks their sleep cycles are getting disturbed right and in this situation uh, whatever food they are readily uh, getting in front of them they will eat right and most of the food items that are there right now in front of them are snacks which are totally unhealthy apart from that a lot of fast food uh, you know fast food is basically something that you just uh, go and quickly grab it and then eat it so fast food can contain sandwiches it can contain burgers it can contain and sodas uh, for that matter now because of all of this the stress levels are increasing you know day by day and to ward off the stress what is an employee doing uh, probably partying at the weekends you know taking uh, the help of alcohol or smoking uh, in that uh, to that matter which kind of has a temporary effect on relaxing their stress but uh, it the stress doesn't go away now there's also one thing uh, which is social pressure to indulge now what is this social pressure to indulge you know uh, employees see their peers their colleagues having a smoke just to you know relieve the stress or taking to alcohol to probably relieve the stress so the employees also feel that yaar mere paas bahut zyada stress hai mere ko kuch karne ko nahi mil raha how do i get rid of it let me smoke also let me have a drink also so this is creating a, a loop uh, in which the employees are falling correct uh, you know almost 60 to 70% of corporates who uh, visited uh, in the prast hospital for various kinds of ailments were basically diagnosed with stress related issues uh, as per the research done by the harvard institute what you eat directly affects your productivity and as per the national institute of mental health uh, the study that they conducted has found out that people are now having binge eating disorders 
they call it BED in short. Now, as per the National uh, Institute of uh, Mental Health, uh, people are suffering from BED. Now, what is BED? BED is uh, binge eating disorders. So, what is it exactly? Is that because of the ready availability of fast food and snacks around you, people are fall, falling into a trap of continuous eating. So even if they are doing some work, they would always keep snacking something or the other, which is actually a disorder that is happening. So these are the challenges that are happening at workplace today. So Pavish, you mentioned uh, like this uh, binge eating disorders and the uh, sleep deprivation, unhealthy eating habits. So these situations seems to be like very adverse. They can affect the health of a employee or, or on anyone. Like it will have an adverse effect. So what we can do in order to like tackle this situation? Uh, there are a lot of uh, things that the employees can do uh, to you know come out of the seriousness of the situations. Uh, how we help or where we focus on is the two most basic aspects, which is yoga and nutrition. Now, what is yoga is that, you know, many people have misconception about uh, yoga that it is just some kind of stretches, right? Some weird stretches that you have to do and uh, it is not going to benefit. It is only for old people. Uh, well, that is not true. Yoga is a very deep rooted science which focuses on the holistic well-being of a person. Uh, you know, it integrates body and breath by uh, asanas that you do. It integrates your mind with the pranayams that you do. And at the same time, it has moral and ethical values in yamas and niyamas. So overall, yoga is a very holistic way of looking at well-being. Uh, at the same time, uh, if you couple it with the right nutrition that you have, uh, that you can take care of, uh, both of them have a very uh, long lasting and a very positive impact on the body, on the mind. And because of this, the employee well-being gets affected, uh, the employee morale gets increased, uh, the productivity at the job gets increased and you get more and more engaged workplace. So uh, what are the benefits of yoga and nutrition? Uh, yoga and nutrition club together have a lot of benefits as we already uh, explained in the uh, sorry so yoga and nutrition combined together have a lot of benefits for body and mind uh, when you start doing yoga uh, the first things that get eliminated from your body are the body aches that you feel the headaches the upset stomach all these challenges immediately vanish. Long lasting practice of yoga helps you reduce your stress considerably, improving your health, improving your morale at work and improving your overall well-being. Uh, you know, we have that you eat, you become right? Whatever you eat, you become. So, there is this profound knowledge hidden in these lines because the right kind of nutrition if you have it will directly affect your body uh, ek common si cheez, ek si example right so what you eat has a tremendous effect on your body and with right nutrition uh, your body feels lighter you get more energy levels in your body. Uh, you know, your uh, brain has a development ke liye jo right kind of omega-3 fatty acids, chahiye, uh, jo minerals. You don't get junk food or fast food. Se nahi milta hai. For this, you have to have the balanced nutrition. And uh, our focus is to marry both yoga and nutrition and give it to the corporates so that their workplace becomes better. So why don't companies go for these wellness programs and how do you like uh, cater these challenge? There are a lot of uh, misconceptions, if I may call them, uh, spread around wellness programs uh, because of which uh, corporates might not go for it, right? And I will tackle some of them one by one, correct? The first and foremost uh, thing that 
and that keeps coming up is that wellness programs uh, the first and foremost thing that keeps coming up is that wellness programs are one size fits all kind of solution well actually wellness programs are very flexible and they can be curated according to the need of the person need of the team need of the department so wellness programs are one size fit all kind of a solution in actuality if you see at it wellness programs are very flexible and adaptable to the needs of the person or the team uh, doing the program so you can have curated solutions uh, for your teams for individuals for an organization as a whole and uh, it is it is not right to say that uh, you know one size fits all so we can uh, do multiple uh, permutations and combinations in the wellness programs itself the second point uh, that came across uh, the second point to be focused on is that uh, you know people consider that wellness programs are basically physical uh, strength development programs well wellness programs are don't focus only on the physical strength although it is a it is a good part of it but wellness programs focus on the holistic development right of your mind of your body and your spirit the third point is that wellness programs are time consuming and will interfere with work well as i already explained uh, wellness programs can be curated to the specific needs of the workplace and uh, small uh, exercises can be built in or small uh, pranayamas as we call them can be built in in between the breaks to give you that flexibility so that it doesn't interfere with the work the next point is that wellness programs are costly and resource intensive you know if you look at the return on investment the wellness programs give you uh, you will see that they don't burn any hole in your pocket right at the same time uh, with virtual classes and online sessions uh, you don't need too many of resources to uh, to develop and to do the programs so this proposition is also taken care of the next point that comes up is that wellness programs are temporary trend and people won't follow it you know yoga has been uh, mentioned in rigveda as well and rigveda is one of the oldest literatures dating back to at least 2500 years so people have been practicing uh, yoga since at least 2500 years the trend has not died till now and it is not going to die it is there to stay and uh, as we can see these days you know more and more people are uh, going to yoga so the trend is going to continue as such uh, you know the most common point that we uh, hear from corporations is that wellness programs are not scalable and there are no tangible benefits well let me tell you uh, there are a lot of metrics which you can use to measure the benefits of the wellness program for example uh, how many times a year uh, the employee uh, has fallen sick after under, uh, going through a wellness program right what is the productivity increase in an employee uh, after undergoing a wellness program now these things can easily be uh, found out from your databases right uh, every employee has a kpi you can always measure uh, his performance at the end of the uh, tenure at the end of the year at the end of the wellness program and you will be able to understand that you will be able to see the changes that are there while uh deciding to go for a wellness program you can always measure the existing health conditions of employees like their heart rate their blood pressure and some other physical parameters like cholesterol and all and once the wellness program is done implementing assessment of key health indicators like bp like bmi cholesterol levels stress levels during uh, at the beginning of the program during the program and at the end of the program can not only give us the measurable parameters of uh, can not only give us the parameters to measure the effectiveness of program but can also uh, give us indications about the overall physical and mental health of the employee and the productivity he is uh, delivering at the job ek aur ek aur point isme aisa hai uh, ahmed ke agar hum jo key health parameters hote hain 
अगर उनको हम उनका मेजरमेंट इम्प्लीमेंट करें जैसे आपका ब्लड प्रेशर हो गया बॉडी मास इंडेक्स हो गया आपके स्ट्रेस लेवल्स हो गए आपके कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल्स हो गए प्रोग्राम शुरू करने से पहले अगर हम इन्हें मेजर करें प्रोग्राम के बीच में मेजर करें और प्रोग्राम एंड होने पे भी मेजर करें तो ना ही केवल हमें अच्छे डेटा पॉइंट्स मिलेंगे कंपेयर करने के लिए एट द सेम टाइम हम लोग एम्प्लॉयी की हेल्थ में क्या इम्प्रूवमेंट हुई है वो भी मेजर कर सकते हैं और इसका एक और फायदा ऐसा भी है कि वी कैन ऑल्सो रिड्यूस द रिस्क ऑन हेल्थ अगर हमें प्रोग्राम इम्प्लीमेंट करने के टाइम पे मेजर कर जब हम पैरामीटर्स मेजर कर रहे हैं पैरामीटर्स मेजर करते करते अगर हमें कुछ और समझ में आता है तो हम लोग उस पर एक प्रिवेंटिव मेजर भी ले सकते हैं सो इट विल ऑल्सो हेल्प अस रिड्यूस द हेल्थ रिस्क राइट अनदर वे ऑफ मेजरिंग द इफेक्टिवनेस इज लुकिंग एट द एबसेंटिज्म एंड प्रजेंटिज्म ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज फ्रॉम वर्क and this is something which is recorded on a day to day basis financial metrics can also be uh, put in place to measure the effectiveness by looking uh, at the employee productivity uh, by looking at uh, the absenteeism of the employee by looking at the cost effectiveness of the programs in terms of the return that uh, the company is getting in the longer run so these are some of the ways uh, how we can measure the effectiveness तो पविश आप क्या एडवाइस देना चाहेंगे उन ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस को जो एम्प्लॉय वेलनेस प्रोग्राम को प्रायोरिटाइज नहीं करते हैं द आंसर इज वेरी सिंपल साइज यू नो एनी सक्सेसफुल कंपनी इज मेजर्ड ऑन फाइव पैरामीटर्स द फर्स्ट इज कैश हाउ मच कैश द कंपनी हैज द सेकंड इज हाउ मच प्रॉफिट्स द कंपनी इज मेकिंग द थर्ड इज हाउ मेनी एसेट्स द कंपनी हैज क्रिएटेड इन द पास्ट इज क्रिएटिंग करेंटली राइट the fourth is what is the growth trajectory of the company and the fifth is the people of the company right and if you look at it uh, it is the people of the company who have direct effect on the other four it is the people who bring in cash for the company by working it is people who generate profit for the company it is the people who work hard to generate assets and growth for the company so working on people's well-being is of paramount importance working on employees uh, so working on employees uh, well-being is of paramount importance for any company that wants to be successful in the long run let me tell you many companies like mahindra and mahindra maruti suzuki limited coca cola uh, snap deal uh and and some other companies they are implementing uh, wellness programs like yoga and exercises in their employees and they have seen tremendous benefits you know by focusing on the wellness programs the employees also see it as a investment the company is doing in them so the engagement of the employees also increases the loyalty factor of the employee towards the organization increases uh, when the employee understands that the company is not just Uh, giving them work but also taking care of their health uh, such employees have very low uh, rate of leaving the company so in the longer run the attrition of the company also reduces and happier and healthier workplaces are uh, made uh, following the wellness programs hence prioritizing wellness programs is going to be the actual growth catalyst for the companies in future in the long run Pavish, can you uh, like uh, share some success stories or a case study like which has been implemented earlier and its uh, result has been very positive? So, like, these stories, Jan, because any organization or like, they motivate motivate can that yes, we can also implement this wellness program in our organizations. Implement well, the biggest case study, if I can give you, is of myself. Uh, you know there was a time i'll give you the year as well 2019 was the time when i was at the worst of my health uh, so hua kya tha jaisa ki kafi sare employees karte hain earlier in their career they focus more on the career and their health uh, priority takes a back seat correct so i was the same i was over obsessed with my career and uh, i was not paying any attention to my health in 2019 uh, by the end of the year 2019 my weight had gone short up to 92 kg and uh, i had started developing a lot of issues like mereko back ache hoti rehti thi frequent back aches uh, 
uh, I used to have a 12 month cough and cold. I uh, started having a lot of acidity, uh, lots of bouts of acidity. Uh, no matter what I ate, even if it is healthy, I would still get acidity. And uh, that was the year that, uh, you know, my son was also born. So there were challenges at home also. I was uh, stressed a lot in work at the at uh, home as well. Uh, so my overall health take a back beating. And it was when I decided to do something about it, you know, I joined, uh, I, I thought of joining a gym and in early 2020 COVID happened and everything was locked down. Correct. So in that situation, I didn't know what to do because the gyms were closed. The uh, running, you could not, you could not do running. Uh, you could not visit parks. Uh, you could not do exercise in open. And that is the time I turned towards yoga and nutrition uh, by implementing yogic exercises at my home and uh, focusing on the right kind of nutrition for my body. I was able to bring back my weight from 92 kgs to 78 kgs in, in a matter of six months, right? And it has stayed with me ever since. The yogic exercises and the right kind of nutrition has stayed with me. Right now, today, I am uh, 75, 76 kg, somewhere around that. My waist has come down from 38 inches to 33 inches. Well, this is all the health benefit that I can tell you. Uh, in terms of the benefit that I had uh, in my workplace, uh, you know, I had uh, enhanced levels of concentration. I had more energy to spend at my workplace. I could do more justice to the work that I was doing. You know, in the year 2021, when the lockdown was lifted finally and uh, the businesses were started again, I was the only person in my team who had overachieved his sales target. Uh, and uh, I could, you know, contribute it totally to the health uh, and fitness regime that I had uh, followed and I had kept for myself. So it has definitely helped me. And I have seen so many people, you know, uh, following yoga, uh, do, having the right kind of nutrition, focusing on their bodies, focusing on their health, focusing on their uh, stress levels, who have benefited a lot. And they are healthy and, uh, you know, energy levels are up. So it, it gives you a lot of benefits and I can vouch for that. Yeah, so like definitely by looking at you, we can uh, like more uh, more people can be uh, get motivation like by doing the uh, right yoga asanas as you mentioned and the right nutrition, taking right diet. So they can definitely like maintain a physical and mental balance. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, the good part is that it can be done easily anywhere. Yes. It's not necessary that you need to spend one, one and a half hour, two hours doing yogic asanas and pranayams. Yogic exercises, uh, very, very simple exercises like, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, Care are some stretches that uh, the office employees, they can like uh, do while sitting at their seat or a very minimum space is required. Sure, I can I can give you two most uh, basic stretches that everyone should do. No matter they are standing, they are sitting, what they are doing. The first and foremost stretch, you know, is for your hands and your joints. Uh, many people, since they are working on the laptops continuously, uh, you know, they have to have a tendency of wrist pain, finger pain and shoulder pain. So the most common thing that you can do is just stretch your hands forward, right? When you inhale, take a deep breath in, stretch your fingers. When you exhale, close your fingers, right? Do this five times. Inhale, exhale, inhale exhale now this is very simple and very effective stretch which doesn't take more than two minutes if you do it properly right this is for your body now let me give you a very simple exercise for your mind as well just occasionally whenever you are doing work just occasionally focus on your breath inhale for a count of four like one two three four then hold for a count of four hold the breath in Exhale for a count of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold for two counts. And do this five times. Now, this practice is something which immediately calms your mind, which immediately relieves your stress. And this is a very simple technique that can be done even when you are working, even when you are in meetings. 
because nobody sees how you are breathing nobody focuses on your breath on your breathing pattern everybody focuses on the content that you are providing or and, and everybody focuses on the work that you are doing so this very simple practice can be inculcated in your day to day life uh, as we are moving towards the end of this podcast so how can we spread the awareness and help corporations in order to achieve a better uh, healthy happier workplace joining hands with sambodhi education nest at rana wellness our team's focus is on increasing the overall well being of the organizations in a scientific measurable way that has the potential of bringing a positive change to the work environment uh, increase the empl- employee productivity and at the same time increase the bottom line for the organizations we do this by providing training interventions tailored programs on yoga and nutrition now these programs can be curated to the needs of the individual as well as organization like uh, reducing weight uh, gaining uh, health uh, increasing the productivity of employees increasing the overall well being at the workplace improving concentration and reducing the work related stress thank you pavish for joining us today i hope aapne jo bhi itni इम्पॉर्टेंट बातें हमें बताई हैं वर्क प्लेस कल्चर के रिगार्डिंग कि जैसे कि क्या क्या चीज़ें बैड हैबिट्स हैं कि वो उससे एम्प्लॉय हेल्थ इफ़ेक्ट करती हैं और ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस को क्यों ये प्रोग्राम्स अपने यहाँ इम्प्लीमेंट कराना चाहिए तो इस चीज़ों को देखते हुए इस पॉडकास्ट के ज़रिए उनको ये पता चलेगा कि फिज़िकल और मेंटल बैलेंस कैसे क्रिएट करना है अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में ताकि क्योंकि वो कॉस्ट इफ़ेक्टिव भी हैं लॉन्ग रन में देखा जाए तो uh wo aapko like they are not going to burn a hole in your pockets and these things so they can create a happier and healthier workplace or employees ki performance and engagement unke aur apne kaam mein aur zyada badhega so thank you so much for providing these uh, thoughts sir well the pleasure was all mine amit thank you for inviting me uh, to this podcast i hope the message reaches uh, masses and uh, we get to see a positive change in the way the organizations are functioning in the way the individuals are functioning with that thank you so much thank you everyone uh, for watching our this podcast and i would like to thank everyone aapne hamari last video aur jo data science ke upar thi aap logon ne usse bahut sare comments kiye hain like kiya subscribe kiya hamare channels ko सो so, uh, हम लोगों ने लोगों की क्वेरीज भी सॉल्व करी हैं जो उन्होंने पूछी थी हमसे हमने हमारे पास कई लोगों की कॉल्स भी आई थी तो हमने उनका उनका आंसर दिया है उन सारे क्वेश्चंस का सो आई होप ये प्यार ऐसा ही बना रहेगा एंड uh, जिन लोगों ने अभी तक हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो उनसे मेरी यही रिक्वेस्ट है कि वो इस चैनल को एजुकेशन नेस्ट को सब्सक्राइब करें लाइक करें शेयर करें एंड प्रेस द बेल बटन टू गेट मोर अपडेट्स एंड हमारे लास्ट डेटा साइंस की जो भी पोस्ट कार्ड्स थी उसके आपकी आपको डिटेल्स डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में मिल जाएंगे एंड आज जो हमने शूट किया था अपना वीडियो जो कि एम्प्लॉय वेलनेस के ऊपर था तो इन आपकी इन फ्यूचर और भी कोई डिमांड्स अगर होंगी आप हमें कमेंट बॉक्स में बताइए हम उसके ऊपर भी एक डिटेल वीडियो बनाएंगे थैंक यू